This video is brought to you by Altium. In today's episode, you will learn how to define a geographical zone to track if your car is leaving or entering that zone using geofencing technology. With geofencing, the system uses the GPS signals from the tracking device to pinpoint the location and marks the limits of an area. This area is the geofence. A geofence is a virtual fence or an imaginary border drawn around a point by a GPS tracking system. Once a geofence is created, it can be used as a trigger for alerts and events. For example, your tracking system can tell you whenever one of your vehicles enters or leaves the area. A geofence can be of any size or shape. It can be a straight line, a rectangle, a square, a circle or an irregular shape. A circular type geofence is very easy to implement. We simply define the center of the circle with the initial latitude and longitude values and then we compare these latitude and longitude values with the latitude and longitude values of the GPS module fixed inside a car. We calculate the distance between any two GPS coordinates using the Heversign formula. The calculated distance is then compared with a predefined distance value. So if the calculated distance is greater than the predefined distance, then it means the car or any other object has moved outside the geofence. Now it depends on you what activity do you want the controller board to perform. You want to stop the car or do you want to send an alert message or do you want to activate the buzzer. It totally depends on you what activity you want to perform when the car leaves the geofence. In my case, I will use the SMS alert along with Google's MAP GPS coordinates. So this was a brief introduction about what is a geofence and how I'm going to implement this technology. Due to the ongoing construction in my home for the next few days, I will be parking my car over here. This location is about half a kilometer away from my house. This area is quite secured, but still I want my car to be under my observation. I have already designed an anti-theft system for my car, which is currently installed. I have a very detailed video on this. I will provide a link in the description if you want to make a smartphone controlled car automation and anti-theft system. Anyways, to create a geofence for my car, I'm going to use Arduino Nano, Neo 6M GPS module and the SIM 900A GSM module. Before I'm going to explain the circuit diagram and programming, first let's watch the Geofence technology in action. This video is sponsored by Ultium. Ultium Designer is the world's most trusted PCB design system. Ultium Designer enables engineers to effortlessly connect with every facet of the electronics design process. Over 35 years of innovation and development focused on a truly unified design environment makes it the most widely used PCB design solution. With Ultium Designer, you can create PCB designs with an intuitive and powerful interface that connects you to every aspect of the electronics design process. Routed your way through any angle, tuned for the delay push, slide and walk around faster than ever. Interact and collaborate with mechanical designers like never before in a photorealistic 3D design environment. If you want to get started with the Ultium Designer, then you can click on the first link in the description. Here is my prototype model and I'm still working on it as I'm planning to add more features. So don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you want to see advanced versions of the same project. Anyways, for now, I'm going to place it inside the car. I have marked this room as the initial position by defining its latitude and longitude values in the programming. I found the latitude and longitude values of this room using Google Maps. I will explain this in a minute. The distance of the gate from the center of the room is 23 meters. I parked my car about 10 meters away from the center of the room. The distance from the car to the gate is 13 meters, so I'm going to set the maximum distance at around 20 meters. This way I will get the alert message before the car crosses the gate. The GPS modules are not 100% accurate. 
the accuracy may be around plus minus 4 meters. I have already powered up the Arduino and I am not receiving any message as the car is still inside the geofence. Now the car is outside the geofence. This is pretty amazing. I just received an alert message that the car is outside the fence. Arduino sends me the first alert message immediately when the car leaves the fence. The other messages then I get after every 20 seconds. The time duration can be changed as per the requirement. You can modify the code if you don't want multiple messages but personally I recommend this multiple messages sending feature because after the car leaves the fence the Arduino will keep sending the alert messages along with the current latitude and longitude values and along with the Google's map URL link which you can use to track the car in real time. When the car leaves the fence a buzzer is also turned on for 5 seconds which signals the driver that the car has moved outside the geofence. This buzzer is activated only once while the messages are sent after every 20 seconds. You can use this project for monitoring prisoners, COVID patients, a parcel, a robot, a drone, etc. By the way, this is the same technology used in the Ant-Man movie and the actor had this tracking device attached to his leg as he was not allowed to leave the house. So technically he was inside a virtual fence or geofence. Anyways now you have got an idea of what exactly you are going to learn after watching this video. So without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. Open the Google Maps. Click on the area which you want to set as the initial position. Click on the GPS coordinates. Copy the latitude and longitude values. Later you will need these values for defining the initial position and the programming. The distance of the gate from the center of the room is 23 meters. I parked my car about 10 meters away from the center of the room. The distance from the car to the gate is 13 meters. So I'm going to set the maximum distance at around 20 meters. This way I will get the alert message before the car crosses the gate. So this is going to be my car's geofence. So I have my initial latitude and longitude values and also the maximum distance value. Now let's take a look at the circuit diagram and then I will explain the programming. All the electronics are powered up using the 5 volts regulated power supply. Make sure the power supply is around 2 amps. The RXD and TXD pins of the GSM 900A module are connected with the Arduino's pins D3 and D2. The RXD and TXD pins of the Neo 6M GPS module are connected with the Arduino's pins D9 and D8 respectively. I connected everything as per the circuit diagram and now let's take a look at the programming. 
Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure you download the Altsoft Serial and Tiny GPS++ libraries. As you can see, I have already installed these libraries. Write your phone number over here on which you want to receive the alert message. Next, I defined pins for the GSM module. Connect RX pin of the GPS module with the Arduino pin number 9 and connect the TX pin of the GPS module with the Arduino pin number 8. The buzzer is connected with the Arduino pin number 4. Next, I defined the maximum distance. This distance defines the size of the fence. In my case, I selected maximum distance of 20 meters. Next, enter the initial latitude and longitude values. I have already explained how to find the initial latitude and longitude values. I also defined two variables, latitude and longitude for storing the current latitude and longitude values from the GPS module. Now let's go to the loop function. Inside the loop function we call the getGPS function. The purpose of this function is to find the current latitude and longitude values. Next we find the distance using the getDistance function. The distance is calculated using the current GPS location and the initial GPS location. getDistance function is a user-defined function and is based on the Heversign formula which is used to calculate the distance between any two GPS locations using current GPS and initial GPS coordinates. Once the distance is calculated, then the measured distance is compared with the maximum distance, which is the fence size. So if the calculated distance is greater than the maximum distance, then the buzzer is turned on. And also an alert message is sent on the predefined phone number along with the GPS coordinates. So the first message is sent immediately when the car leaves the fence and the buzzer is turned on only for 5 seconds. The buzzer is only turned on once. I also edit code for sending multiple messages. Right now the alert message is sent after every 20 seconds. You can increase or decrease the number of seconds as per your requirement. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.